Hey, what's up everybody, Ichibo Ryan here, so as a quick notice before I start this video, just to let you know, I'm doing this like part or chapter without any script, sorry, and I might do like one part, that's all like I'm gonna finish the full series in this one, so with no longer ado, let's begin. So about the recognition thing, how does it work? So I'm gonna say like that Takimichi uh, when he was like born, his parents like uh, hated him, uh, he was kinda a mistake in their point of view, so they sold him out to a lab, They and the lab experimented on him, did a lot of tests, which in a way configured his blood to start manipulating lightning. Then later he was transported to a military base which uh, trained him to be uh, the perfect weapon, soldier, an assassin and yada yada yada. So I'm gonna say Takemichi was trained until he was 12 years old. So uh, let's say in the 12 years old thing an explosion was going on through the military like base and everybody was dying like from left to right and Takemichi found it a way to escape so he escaped and got far away from that area but later he was found unconscious by a couple of cops they took him in and when he woke up they asked him a couple of questions what was he doing there alone and what happened to him and stuff like that but like Takemichi didn't want to talk so at, like, at this point he was emotionless uh, so uh, the police uh, like asked him about his parents he told them that he don't remember them even and with that they took him to an orphanage so like a lot of parents uh, who went there to like to adopt uh, children for some reason didn't like uh, Takemichi like he was already old so and he was alone so he felt peer like uh, in peace being left alone so two years skip forward with like uh, Takemichi still having a good build in his body like think of Kinua but a little like slightly buffer like he was training and doing martial arts and stuff like he kept his skill toned so when he was 14 years old he like went to an apartment he was studying and so like he met a lot of people and he met Hinata and like they start hanging out with each other and stuff like that but they didn't go further they are more of like best friends if you know what I mean so they like were hanging out going like the arcades playing with each other at certain point like they really had like a brother sister relationship and in this what if uh, there is no uh, like uh, ships for uh, Takemichi and I'm going through uh, through it as I continue with the story. So, uh, so Takemichi like didn't want to fight back. Like when the delinquents start going around and start to fight and stuff like that. Like Takemichi wanted to be like uh, people like to think of him as a weak person or a weak individual. But later. Let's say when he was 16 years old, we skip to the day of like, uh, let's say the day from the enemy when he like teleported back to his past and stuff like that. Like he still had that uh, like going back in time to fix uh, the stuff and sh uh, you know, like in a, let me explain it like further. So Takimichi uh, uh, like as a kill one, like he escaped from military base like he grew up later and like and worked and later uh, let's say when he was 28 I think in the enemy, enemy was like he was still working as like a store living like a, a normal life but he starts getting like these flashbacks and when he saw like uh, his Hinata his uh, like sister not blood related of course died and how the Majingang and sh like that shit going on so I'm gonna say Takemichi uh, was pushed uh, as a train and voila he teleported back he was met with his uh, old friends and you know uh, he starts asking a couple of questions like how did I go back in time and stuff like that but uh, after they uh, like he didn't uh, like give much thought to, uh, to it and continued to hang out with his friend 
And let's say they went to the middle school and they like um, were met by bigger like delinquents. I'm gonna, not gonna make uh, like um, Takemichi fight in this fight, but soon he will show his uh, like um, powers. So, so if they get beat up and stuff like that. Takemichi then go back to uh, like uh, like uh, talk to an, uh, Hinata's uh, brother uh, Naoto and tell him about the future and how the thing is gonna uh, go and stuff like that and like everything go almost the same as the anime until let's say this uh, when he came back again and was getting beaten uh, by like the, uh, in the tournament thing when uh, they bet on the fight who gonna win and stuff like that until Mikey and Draken were showed up and start kicking the delinquent king uh, like when Mikey bet up the, that guy I forgot his name sorry so after like they bet him and Mikey went toward Takemichi uh, he knelt beside him and told him what uh, asked him what's his name and Takemichi asked him uh, like Hanagaki Takemichi or reversed uh, Takemichi Hanagaki I don't know like how they introduce them like themselves in Japan so sorry and like after going back and forward by like Mikey uh, misspelling his name and like uh, you know Takemichi just gave up and didn't want to correct him with that, uh, they became like uh, the, uh, Mikey offered uh, to be friends with Takemichi and stuff like that. With that, the next day came and uh, Takemichi was hanging out in the school, studying and chilling in class until like Mikey and Draken showed up and told him to come and hang out with us. So I'm gonna say when he got out, like he was like shocked about like about the beat up students lying on the floor while Mikey Draken jumping in their backs, while Takemichi walking there like uh, near the windows to avoid hitting any students. While they were out of the school, Hinata came and start talking and saying, "You should get away from Takemichi. He's a good student. He doesn't want any trouble and stuff like that." And she slapped Mikey. Draken at that moment was angry, he was about to hit her, but he felt like a dark aura, a wave. He, when he like got closer to Hinata, he felt a hand in his uh, like, uh, you know, back and in a cold voice he can hear, stay the F away from her, touch her and you're gonna die. When he looked at Takemichi's eyes, for a second he got scared because the eyes he saw eyes of a killer a ruthless killer can like make a clan massacre as a joke you know like a itachi reference but go with it so uh, after that like maki talking uh, to takimichi and saying wow you stood up and everything like that with that continue pass forward uh, to let's say when Mikey and Draken uh, like um, offered to have uh, like my uh, Takemichi to uh, go to Tuman place and hang out with them, so and even like in that thing, so when like the Tuman gang were, were met up, uh, the Mikey and Draken were in uh, like in front until the I think the third division captain showed up. Uh, you know uh, and starts explaining what happened to him and how he got jumped by another gang and the thing that his girlfriend got to and how they bet his families after they die what they did to her and stuff like that so uh, when the like Tom and gang uh, Tom and gang accepted to fight with uh, with him and join the battle against the other gang and stuff like that so the Takemichi like was just there hanging out, just chilling. Like a couple of people asked, uh, "Who is he and why was he there and stuff like that?" And Mikey, uh, like uh, after they finished talking about the other gang, he introduced him as a friend and stuff like that. Mikey at first uh, like looked at Takemichi and asked, "Do you want to join Toman?" And like Takemichi just said, "No." I don't think I can I want to join at least not now probably in the future but I don't know so with that they continue hanging out and stuff like that until like when the like the next thing that happened when like Mikey the third division guy which his name uh, let me look for him in uh, like for his name real quick okay I found it uh, Haruki Hayashida 
the third division captain so as i said so mikey draken and haruki were in the factory while takemichi was with them so the other gang showed up you know as the enemy and the the you know the big boss of that gang fought the third division captain beat him up when like uh, the third division starts hugging uh, mikey and uh, mikey said to him you're strong you did lose a fight but we didn't lose a war when mikey was about to go and to start kick that boss you know gang uh, ass he was stopped by takemichi and said can i try at first mikey was hesitant but said sure and let me just say takemichi or in that one kilwa beat everyone like their asses like mikey draken and now uh, woken up third division captain were shocked at his strength like I, I think in that fight there was around like 100 person so he bet them easy he went real smooth with it like he probably crippled like a bunch of them but who cares so uh, when they hear like a uh, sirens and stuff like that uh, uh, like Takemichi was so that the third division captain was about to uh, you know stab the uh, gang member but like when he was really about to touch him like uh, you know Takemichi grabbed the knife and broke it and th threw it away and said don't do that you're gonna just waste your life for nothing with that he grabbed the third division captain and just zoomed out of the way like he passed Maki Draken like they were shocked at his first the strength when he found, uh, like fought the gang members but now his speed they were really shocked at first they like they saw a little bit of a hue going around them but they didn't know what it was or they thought it was their eyes playing like an illusion on them but they didn't pay attention to it so uh, let's say the next event which is I don't remember exactly but uh, I think it was when Draken got stabbed you know that arts or arc sorry so I'm gonna say in this one you know uh, Draken Takemichi uh, like were hanging out until you know the fight was brought to them they were like you know that guy from uh, like the delinquent guy he got beaten up by Maki he wanted to stab dragon and stuff like that so let's say i'm gonna say dragon got stabbed early like when the fight started and stuff like that so all the gangs were fighting takimichi wasn't there at the beginning i sorry i said like takimichi was hanging with dragon no i'm gonna say takimichi was hanging with the temple and stuff with hinata as his sister going around chilling later they split up uh, and went toward uh, like Takemichi took Hinata to her home and started going back when he like got a little bit closer he started uh, hearing like uh, a fighting going on so when he got near he saw like he was uh, going from the behind to front so it's the other gang and then Toman so Takemichi the other gang then Toman when Takemichi got closer he saw dragon lying in the floor uh, with uh, his own uh, like uh, blood like spilling out of his gut and stuff like that so uh, Takemichi screened for uh, like uh, some uh, uh, guy like I think his name Takashi Mitsuya he screamed his name and told him to take uh, Drak into the hospital and run as fast as he can and told every uh, like Toman gang to st like uh, leave uh, leave because he's gonna handle these things right now. At first, the Toman's member they didn't know about his power and stuff like that. And at this point, Mikey knew that Takimichi is really stronger than ever he's gonna be. So, uh, like Mikey raised his hand and said, "Go back. He he can easily deal with it. If I can at least defeat one uh, ten thousand or twenty thousand people." He can at least easily defeat one million person with not pushed, uh, putting an effort into it. At first, the Toman gang were shocked and stuff like that, but they at first like they didn't believe Mikey, but he was their leader, so just just sorry. So they just pulled out and went back. 
so Takemichi went hammer on them, like he went full brutality, fatalities, mortalities, like a Mortal Kombat fighting style and stuff like that. In the middle of fight, he starts using his like uh, uh, nin to uh, like manipulate his body to, and starts using uh, his fang. Later, the Toman saw a massacre going on to the other gang. Where when Hinma tried to attack Takemichi, he just evaded it, came, like came behind him, and just broke his leg and arm, and said, "You're weak and pathetic. Don't try to ever get near me because next time you're dead." With that, he finished the things and start following, like, like he finished, let's say, I'm gonna say he finished that fight in 15 minutes. Like, he didn't want to go full god mode on them right now, so, yeah. And, let's say, after 15 minutes, he starts, uh, like, manipulating the lightning or the nin around his body and start going fast, bro. He start following Draken and try to get, a, like, a scent from him to know where he is. When they got there, he's, uh, he saw like uh, uh, the purple guy, I think his hair gonna be purple, uh, Takashi Mitsuya, the second division captain. He was fighting uh, like 10 people at once, but uh, uh, when he got there, he saw Draken start bleeding, bleeding more. So he told that, uh, like told uh, Mitsuya that the other gang members gonna show up in like uh, three minutes or, or more. So just hold him, he gonna take uh, Draken. So he grabbed Draken and you know the scene from anime where uh, like Kilwa grabbed his sister and start running with the um, lightning speed thing mod, you know? So he used that and he was near the hospital in like, let's say three minutes to five minutes. He, he like the doctors grabbed him, took him to the operation room and voila. As you know in the enemy, he was got healed and later was released. So the next thing what's happened? I think it's the black okay, the Kisaki thing. So in like uh, Takemichi was going between the past and future and now what totally tell talking to him about the Kisaki, what was he doing and how he manipulated Toman into becoming a, an evil organization of like to kill, uh, slavery and stuff like that and selling uh, drugs and later so he puts a foolproof plan with uh, Naoto and starts going like into it so I'm gonna say Kisaki uh, joins but Baji tried to uh, like uh, Baji's leaves and stuff like that and I think so the Valhalla fight yeah the, so the Valhalla fight everyone goes there like the fight go goes as the enemy but Takemichi wasn't there like he was there but he was hidden like in top of the building like he saw how the fight was going on and stuff like that and like many people like were there and you know so Baji was like a secret spy to Toman in Valhalla and stuff like that so when Baji tried to stab himself he was stopped by none other than Takemichi showing up and said you're really stupid you could have cost us a lot by doing that you know with that he grabbed the knife and threw it away and uh, like knocked out Baji and took him far away uh, in like behind like Toman's gang and told two people to protect him. He starts going to the Valhalla fight and starts slaying them bro. All the other gangs who were watching like were shocked there is another condit that might rival Mikey but they didn't know he gonna surpass him in the future. So. So the Valhalla fight ended with uh, Takemichi putting end, not killing like uh, Kazatora, not call, uh, like killing him, but uh, knocking some sense into his mind and accepting to be sent to jail and stuff like that. So after the Valhalla fight, I'm gonna say the Black Dragons. So the Black Dragons arc. So. I'm gonna say so Takemichi, Shifuyu and in this one I'm gonna say, let Baji out of it, I don't know. Okay so Takemichi joined, he became the first uh, captain 
because Baji wanted uh, Takemichi uh, to become the first uh, captain, then him gonna be the right hand man and Shifu the left hand man. So he's the captain, and the other two are his vice's captains. So they, you know, uh, the, there is a lot of spo enemy spoil, uh, spoiling and sh stuff like that. So yeah. So they put a plan like they, Kisaki told uh, like uh, Takemichi to work with him and stuff like that uh, in like uh, to uh, fight the black dragons and stuff like that and uh, save their like friends. Uh, let me look for his name real quick. Uh, what's his name again bro? It's hard to remember exactly. Uh, black dragons. I think his name is uh, Hakai Shiba. So, like, Hakashiba's older brother came to him when he was hanging with his uh, sister and stuff like that and telling him that he should leave to man who's on Black Dragon and start fighting and stuff like that. Takemichi uh, was about to start fighting but uh, Shiba didn't want him so he went with the Black Dragons and Takemichi told, uh, like, uh, talked uh, with uh, Shifu and um, Baji about, uh, about it and they discussed the plan to bring, uh, bring him back to Toma but Kisaki decided to involve himself with uh, Hanma in there so I'm gonna say like Takemichi knew about the manipulation plans he wanna do to get into Toma to get uh, to be right hand man for Mikey and getting control of Toma and you know doing the bad organization thing but I'm gonna say as the anime Takemichi go there and the two captains there so I'm gonna shift you gonna hang uh, shift you gonna ha handle Inui while Baji handle uh, Kunui I think his name I think it's uh, 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 no uh, his name is Hajime Kukunui so yeah so after the like at first the you know the black dragons uh, 10 generation leader Taishu Shiba thought he was fighting a weak person but he was later shocked by the strength of the this kid in front of him you know uh, like you know <laughs> the Takemichi just bet his ass easily with no uh, like without even doing like putting more than 10% in a fight and like when later he was about to, to yell about the like the other members of black dragons like around 200 or 100 out uh, when they were out of the uh, you know i don't know what's uh, the name of it the church yeah the church they start uh, screaming about them to come in and start fighting but there was no response when until a door opened and mikey came in and and he asked, uh, like, asked all of them, "Yo, guys, what's we doing here? Are you all came here to, you know, to pray and stuff?" T like Takemichi was, like, you know, laughing his ass off. Like he really tried to hold his lap, but couldn't. So Taiju, the tenth leader of the Black Dragons, went toward the uh, into like uh, interest to see what happened to his members and he saw everyone lying there groaning in pain while like dragon just chilling there and said yo this is was easy to beat what did you e did you even train them you know start la laughing at taiju he was uh, like you know shocked so later they met uh, in Tomans and Inui and uh, Kukonwe I think yeah, that's how you pronounce it I'm sorry if I butchered a lot of names uh, met there and let's say they tried to offer to, uh, to join uh, there and for some reason they felt closer and didn't want to be used as they were in the black dragons so they offered themselves to be under control in like Takemichi's hand uh, and now the first division is the biggest one of all Tomans so hmm the next part, the you know Toman's fight and the Tanjiko's fight. Everyone was like didn't want to go there and fight. Like Takemichi tried to convince them and to fight for what uh, like they did and how like because like they took um, uh, Kukunwe away from uh, Inui. I think there are a couple in the manga. I don't know. So yeah, and uh, like Inui begging like. Uh, Takemichi to help him to get him back and stuff like that. So 
Takemichi tried to ask Tomen help for the fight, but they didn't accept uh, accept it. L Takemichi, l oh, by the way, the thing. Uh, Emma, uh, sister of Mikey, when she was about to be uh, hit by the baseball bat while Kisaki was trying to kill her, Takemichi appeared, grabbed her and jumped high and got away and she was safe, likely, so yeah. So now Dura can still have his uh, beautiful girlfriend who gonna marry later and have children with her and you know, so yeah. So he tried to uh, ask help from Tomans and everybody but they didn't accept only the black dragons offered to help him. Takimichi looked at Mikey and said fine if you can't get help doing something you can do it by your own self in the most coldest voice he could like everybody could hear. So Takimichi weren't there and was uh, going uh, riding in a new motorcycle he got from uh, Mikey and you know Mikey telling him how he can see him as a big brother that he have uh, never like got to have uh, like when his older brother died uh, Sanjiro I think his name Sano died and stuff like that so the Tanjiro were, were about to attack again the Toman but when they hear the bike uh, going until Takemichi showed up and he got closer and so the you know that guy uh, what's his name uh, Izana in front uh, the leader of Tanjiko gang and said wow Toman was scared only to send a weak person to fight Kisaki knew how strong Takemichi were and said uh, I don't think so Izana looked at him and just don't let me laugh and with that Takemichi just got full god mode on them he started beating people left to right like before the fight started let's say let's just say that Takemichi said to Izana you see me as a weak, per weak person so tell every member of this one of this gang to come at me and fight me with their like the full power Izana like you know uh, Izana was laughing his ass off and told his men to attack at first he thought he gonna beat him easily but he was shook later like <laughs> you know as usual Takemichi was going left right hook like left punch go up up down down left right left right square like you know circle x triangle like full cheat mode playstation mode you know <laughs> so yeah and he started beating everyone and he reached to a certain point in his mind he starts making people like starts cutting people and let them bleed everyone was scared right now Kisaki brought his gun toward the like Takemichi and thought uh, like said to him he might be scared, scared of uh, guns so he aimed at Takemichi, Takemichi looked at him and got closer and put the gun in his head and said shoot me don't be scared just do it if you're not you know puss do it Kisaki now was really beyond shocked like this kid in front of him not afraid to die right now so Kisaki aimed the, the gun at his uh, feet and shooted and the bullets went through his uh, like Takemichi feet but he didn't uh, like flinch or anything everyone saw that and knew that shit gonna turn down right now now Takemichi said to Kisaki if you wanted to kill me why didn't you sh like to end it all why didn't you didn't you shoot me in the head Kisaki couldn't reply and start going full ham mode on them and start slaying them or left to right until he was met by one of his old friends and said why are you here you shouldn't be here why are you protecting him you should get away and you know he didn't like give a crap about what Takemichi was saying and with that Takemichi bat him to a pulp and continuing uh, continued Izano uh, like he grabbed uh, like a knife was about to you know shank Takemichi but he just with his good reflexes he dodged grabbed the knife broke it and you know put his arm and sliced his gut out and let, uh, let him bleed so now at this point every time my members start arriving and now they saw the real massacre was going on 
to like from the left to the right, they saw only blood, nothing but much but blood. And we like when he got there, he was shocked to, about his like a new leader. He didn't think he would go to that point to get bring back like his loved ones. So he continued until like Kisaki started running and Takemichi was going to follow him but Hanma grabbed Kisaki in a motorcycle and uh, like got away but I'm gonna say uh, you know uh, Takemichi grabbed like a, a couple of cutted cable with the electricity still running on them every person was at first thinking was he that stupid try to electrocute himself but when he grabbed him and started charging himself, everybody starts screaming and stuff until he put them down and starts to see the electricity going through his body. So he starts going fast mode. He followed like um, Kisaki. He knocked the bike, Henwa was sliding, and Draken was following Takemichi in his motorcycle. So Draken was fighting Hanma, and uh, Maki was just chilling near him and watching Draken and uh, Hanma fighting. Takemichi continued to follow Kisaki and you know as the manga and got hit by the truck you know <laughs> the most OP uh, god that can send people to another universe. Um, with that I'm gonna say pass forward a little bit you know every gang were, were hanging out and stuff like that and when Takemichi went back and well, like the Toman was about to get disband, disband like uh, the next day Maki was about to disband the thing and stuff like that. He went to the future and saw everything was alright and stuff like that. But he found that Mikey wasn't happy. Like, he really wasn't happy. So, the, he tried to talk to Mikey, but Mikey um, uh, shot him in the gut and went to the top of a building and tried to jump. When he jumped, uh, like Takemichi caught him from the fifth floor window and told him, I'm not gonna let you die right now, Mikey. Just tell me. Just say it. Just say, please, Takemichi, save me. Don't let me become what I became now. Taka, Mikey starts crying right now because he really felt bad about what happened to him. So he told uh, like Takemichi to go back and help him with that. Takemichi was transferred back in time. The Toman uh, was disbanded, and Takemichi continued to train. And later he was uh, like uh, hang like he disappeared for a year. Yeah, I'm gonna say uh, disappeared for a year, and came back to Japan. When he came back, he saw other gang showed up. And every other gang, like previously, just didn't, like, wasn't there. So the new gangs were there Bonton and uh, Brahman, and the third, I don't remember exactly. So Takemichi in this one gonna join the Brahman and stuff like that. And he starts going on missions and try to look for Taki uh, Mikey and bringing him back until an eventful one fight when he, you know was uh, hanging out until he found Mikey beating up people to blood. Takemichi starts walking toward Mikey and every gang of Bonton were there. They saw Takemichi walking toward uh, Mikey. So they st uh, start going at him but when they got closer, Mikey said stop, let him go through. Takemichi continued and until he stopped in front of Mikey and said, What happened to you, Mikey? You were not this person. I, I know what you mean by now. You need help. After all, I think you remember what happened. You got the feeling like nah, when I came back, didn't you? With that, like Mikey got feels. I told you before, you remember that day when I told you there is a dark thing is in my brain is just trying to control me. I told you to you know treat me as a younger brother and uh, like if i do a bad thing hit me for it i told you to save me a long time ago but why didn't you you just disappeared takimichi just look at him and give him a hug and said i know what do, how do, does it feel but i needed a year to go get away i didn't want everybody of you to get hunted you know why i was running because the entire military was looking for me. At this, Mikey was looking at him in confusion and said, Why the military is looking for you? Are you a wanted criminal person? 
Then Takemichi said, no, I'm more than that. I was an experiment dealt by the military and lab of evil people who wanted to create the perfect soldier and a perfect weapon for them. That's what I am, Mikey. I had to run away to keep you all of you safe and far away from them. But now I'm back and I'm gonna kick that dark thing or dark aura, darkness shit out of your brain if you don't stop right now. So grab my hand and let's go. All I want to do is the best thing for you. I want you to, have to be happy, Mikey. Remember in the future what happened to you, the time that you shot, shot at me, the time you wanted me to kill you, just let's go it's not you right now i'm gonna take you far away and let you like fix your things up you're not like you're mentally not stable so it's better for now so take my hand and let's go now every gang member right now were like looking at takemichi with uh, glare they went to him to try attack him but to their like uh, you know surprise Takemichi was more stronger than they were ever will they will be so they he like start going left to right and beating them and after he finished he grabbed Mikey's uh, hand and took him to the old place when Tomon uh, were like held in meetings and stuff so when they got there they just chill looking at you know the sun fall and the beautiful view until like you know Takemichi hugged Mikey from uh, yeah, like behind and starts saying you know sweet things as the older brother says to his younger uh, younger brother and stuff like that to make him more relaxed and stuff like that he told and like Takemichi told that he gonna take Mikey with him for a more like couple of years to just chill and stuff like that and to relax and make his mental health better and like convince him to get more therapy and stuff like that with that i'm gonna end this movie thing i've been talking for too long it was a test to see if i could do like a what if uh, tokyo revenger so or tokyo revenger uh, what if so yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video and i like if you enjoyed it Please leave a like and subscribe, it helps us out with the YouTube algorithm to spread out and reach more people and we are almost 10k and this is, might be the second video I'm gonna upload uh, like as, you know, with um, what if Deco had all for one so yeah stay home stay safe wash your hands and spend the time with the most precious people you have see you next video peace out bye bye and take care of yourself because you're an important individual person and yeah